Latin button because L's right before K. Right, well, maybe that'll work too, but here we are. The countdown is beginning, so you should tab back into StarCraft. This is going to be Spider DS versus Slayers KDY GSL Metropolis at the Taiwan Honor Cup. <clears throat> yeah, welcome to the Taiwan Honor Cup if you're just joining us. No. I am Unctious, this is Jethro. We are casters for the New England StarCraft 2 League. Yes, we are. We'll on that later. Yeah, because right now we have some StarCraft to watch. And here we are, spawning as the Yellow Zerg in the southeastern corner. He is a fantastic player, no doubt. He is Slayer's KDY. KDY. And then spawning in the northeastern corner in the close by air position, he is the Teal Terran Spider DS. Spider DS. I wonder if any inspiration for his name came from the Nintendo DS. I was thinking the same thing, and I, I just have no idea. Hmm. You know, watch us actually just be, you know, completely ignorant to the fact that DS is, like, an amazing team. Right. Uh, or his name, and Spider's an amazing team. But <laughs> that certainly could be, although maybe the team name was inspired by the Nintendo DS. <laughs> Perhaps. You're right. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, this is TBZ, Metropolis. These are close by air right. positions. Mm-hmm. So uh, drop hit, drop play uh, is possible. We do see we have these islands mm -hmm. on the outside bases that, that have creep tumors down there. You've got to destroy those before you can build over there. Right. And uh, beyond that, we'll see exactly what our players decide to do. I love this. Um, when Terran players decide not to wall off immediately, mm -hmm. like uh, there's always been that conversation about how when you see this coming out, either – they're a bronze player, or they're like Code S. <laughs> yes. Um, I assure you, Spider DS probably knows what he's doing. Probably not the bronze player. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> some, some if, little kid. If he is bronze, how did he make it this far? How is he in the semifinals? <laughs> that would be so amazing. Playing with clenched fish and all. Mm -hmm. All right, and, well, we uh, see the hatchery has gone down before the pool for Slayers KDY. So it's going to be a strong economy opening. And uh, on Metropolis, I really, really like that. I mean, we talk about time and again how large this map is. You have so much time to react to pushes. As a result, hatch first, very, very safe and sound opening. I, Indeed. I, and I expect a uh, one racks expand out of Spider DS, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, he doesn't have any gas or anything at this point. So, yeah, uh... so, you know, <laughs> maybe he'll go double Banshee. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, Jethro, there's no gas, you fool. You fool. <laughs> yeah, here we go. We see that. Uh, yep, there it is. Going down. Command center goes down. KDY does spot it, so he's familiar with what he's playing with, with what he's dealing with at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, and just now, that barracks moving on forward to wall off at that at that choke. Right, and uh, a couple supply depots will go down as well, I suspect. And uh, I'm curious to see exactly what attachment he goes for first, as two gases have, have now gone down in the main. I would, I think we're going to see a reactor, and I imagine yeah, a factory I, should be coming up sometime soon. I mean, I would expect reactor, but uh, you never know. Could yeah, it would be amazing to see some crazy build that no one's ever seen before. Mass Reaper! I've been, I've been working on this build for the Taiwan Honor Cup. Yes. He's like been working with all of his teammates. <laughs> it's possible, man. Just trying to figure out how to beat KDY. Yeah. He's like, I have a feeling, I can sense it, I'm going to be facing KDY in the semifinals, and Mass Reapers is his one and only weakness. <laughs> They're sitting around a computer for days and days on end, no one's getting sleep. Anyway, we see Lings, <laughs> Lings. moving on to this. My Yep, eight in total, moving onto the field. Going to do a little bit of aggression here, and uh, this could be uh, a tad bit scary as we see that Spider DS only has three Marines at the moment. Yep, he, in fact, he does have the reactor coming down, so that barracks is completely useless, but luckily <laughs> there's a wall off. Yeah, um, but, I mean, the question is how much damage could be done to this expansion? Uh, It'd be cool if there was a uh, force of a cancel of the orbital. That'd be nice. But these three marines yeah. should be able to take care of quite a bit of the, quite a bit of this, especially with those two SCVs. Mm -hmm. And bunker going down just to be super safe in the meantime. And uh, I don't know if I would have dropped that mule to natural. I might have dropped that mule to main. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you see, it, he's micering it back and forth now. It's not even mining, so uh, a little bit of sloppiness there out of Spider DS. <laughs> Mule's yelling at, at Spider, just like, what, what, what are you thinking? Yeah. And why would you drop me at this natural base when there are lings here? Drop me in the main. I wasn't even supposed to be working today. <laughs> and another another mule goes down at the natural. I mean, I, yeah, I, I, I understand that you don't want to mine out the main quickly, but when you're under pressure and there are lings attacking your mules, um, I think it's okay if you throw them down in the main and have a little bit of uh, fast mining there. Just throwing that out yeah. there. Yeah, I think so too. That mule did get pretty close to dying, yeah. but... 
Um, you know, on a, and just hand. lost mining time on a mule. I mean, precious seconds. Mules mine so many minerals per second that uh, you really don't want to be running those away from links. Yeah, you want every single little bit of that that you can. Mm -hmm. But we do see that oh, Spider DS is going Hellions, and uh, KDY, however, is going to have some beautiful creep spread in response. Yeah, he has that creep spread already. He does have that spine crawler coming up and two queens right at that that. Um, the choke of that natural, so he's going to be able to hold this off absolutely wonderfully. Right. Um, he has nothing to worry about at this point. And he's going to go for a fast third, which will mass match the fast third of uh, Spider DS. So this is going to be quite the macro game as we're on three bases before any aggression has occurred. Yeah, we're not even at the eight minute mark yet, and, and that third, those both of those third bases are coming up. Right. So we see a second spine crawler as well, uh, and these Hellions are going to move up and scout that third base. Mm-hmm. Not going to do too, too much as Hellions are not able to do anything to buildings. Yeah, there are no Reapers. I mean, not literally anything, but... How about, how about like, Reapers riding on the backs of Hellions and they have grenades? Hmm, sounds and... balanced. Sounds so balanced. We'll see it in Heart of the Swarm. <laughs> yes. I'll send a letter into Blizzard immediately. Alright, and yeah, I mean, you have so much pull that it will surely happen. <laughs> yeah, uh, Blizzard, I've really been uh, working on some stuff. Tough check this out. Yeah. Just call up Rob Simpson and be like, hey, you know, this is unctuous, get it done. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, up, bro. Um, I don't think I need to say my name, you know my voice. <laughs> Alright, so Hellions moving in, they will get denied these four queens. Right. Those queens honestly think that that was a joke. Yeah, I mean, and we see the Hellion production has stopped from Spider DS. Uh, not a long-term plan, just a little bit of early harass. 11 creep tumors at a time. Such huge creep spread, and, and that's going to be so pivotal in, in the late game. I mean, we, we see four queens out here actively spreading yeah. crap. Creep. Such a heavy queen style, I love it. Yeah, I love I mean, it. I love it. How many? We have six queens in total, one for each hatch, and then those four at the front. Beautiful play. Yeah, double Evo chamber coming down as well, so just grabbing more gases. I imagine that at this point he's going to be teching up very, very, very quickly mm -hmm. uh, to a very, very strong push coming out in just a, in just a few minutes. Yeah. Uh, um, so. But I mean, in the meantime, we see that Spider DS has gotten some tanks out, and uh, I think he has siege mode, if I'm not mistaken. So he's going to be able to be pretty fortified here and turtle on these three bases quite effectively if he so chooses, getting those double upgrades as well. So both of these players seem to have uh, similar things in mind. You know, I'll sit here on my three base, I'll get my upgrades, and then we'll duke it out in an epic 200 versus 200 food battle of glory. Yeah, I I, I, I see what you're saying, but I, I I'm I'm scared like about what KDY's, KDY's doing. I'm, 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 I think because I don't fully understand everything that's happening uh, with what KDY is doing, I think he might be uh, gearing up for some for some pretty hardcore aggression coming up. Maybe he doesn't even want to go to four bases. Like, he has a ton of drones coming out, he has a ton of links coming out, he's spreading creep unbelievably, a baneling nest is on the way. Right. Uh, and he has plus one ground and plus one uh, weapons on the way, so... And I've just been told by an admin that Spider DS is actually one of the, if not the best Terran in Taiwan, so he is quite the formidable formidable opponent here, not going to be a pushover, and, uh, you know, we see evidence of that already. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He's been, I mean, he played unbelievably just denying that very, very early aggression, you know, even feeling comfortable enough to drop those mules that we were making so much fun of mm -hmm. um, early on. We see a link coming forward, will, in fact, scout that this uh, this orbital, uh, this command center, rather, yeah, orbital will be coming down. So uh, he'll see it floating around. He sees a bunker going up as well. But this creep spread is absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, I, can't, I cannot get over this creep spread. It's so huge. Not only is he spreading towards his opponent, simultaneously spreading towards the fourth and fifth bases. Uh, just beautiful. This whole map is going to be so f***ed up. And, uh, you know, I, mean, I feel like if I was Spider DS, I'd be getting a raven out at this point to try and deal with this. Yeah, I mean, we do. I mean, he's he's trying to do everything he can to, I think, to get medevacs out as quickly as possible. But that that raven would be a really, really, really nice thing to have. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, just. I mean, and it's uh, one raven, and it can take out all the creep on the whole map. You know. Yeah, he, he doesn't want to be dropping scans left and right, right. trying to to see what's going on. We do see a Viking moving over. He's going to say, "Wait, what have you been doing this entire <laughs> time? Do you do you have you been macroing? Yeah. Like, oh or... my creep! <laughs> oh wow." Holy creep, Batman. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Bailing speed on the way to make use of that creep, That's as right. well as an infestation pit, and now I'll let you talk. All right, yeah, that fourth is coming on the way as well, so uh, with those infestors, uh, just, you know, speed and Banelings are going to be super effective against this uh, Terran bio-based army. He does have quite a few tanks, though, and with good target firing, he might be able to take those out. Uh, but, you know, I I'd be pretty scared, especially when Baneling speed finishes, if he's ever trying to attack onto creep. Hmm. Um, sorry, I was doing a little bit with a microphone setting for a second there. Let's get back into this game. See, Stim was just finishing up, and some more upgrades coming out for the turn player. 1-1 one -on -one finished, 
two two on the way and getting those vehicle weapons as well. So I mean, Ryder, a huge supply block at this point. He he didn't even have those two those two supply depots started when he got supply block. Ooh. So he's sitting on uh, quite a bit of time, not getting any more SCVs. Uh, he is using his Hellions to scout out for any any anything going on in this area, uh, so that these medevacs can pull through really really easily. Right. I really like that. I mean, yeah, that's, that's that nice clean play. I mean, if there's a lane sitting up there, you don't want it to scout your drop and ruin the whole thing. So why not send a couple Hellions first? In fact, Viking moving up, moving forward as well to try to get anything they can. But at some point, these, unless they're going purely by air uh, all the way around, they're going to want to creep, and right. that's going to be scary. And uh, that's the moment you don't want to wait for. Yeah, he's kind of zigzagging them back and forth. A little bit um, these wings are going to come out and around. I think they. I mean, these these medevacs are spotted, but here comes the rest of the army sieged up on the creep. Uh, right now, we have a ton of Hellions out front and a ton of Marines as well. Uh, but it looks like KDY going for this big counterattack. He's going to be able to move right into the third. There's just one bunker here, and there's not that much else. There's a command, the command center coming up as well. But he's going to get the full run by. The SCV's getting pulled to try to do a little bit of damage and repair that. But all these wings are getting a huge surround in the SCVs. Yeah, we see the whole position micro. Beautifully done. A bunch of uh, Hellions and Marines coming in to clean this up now. And not too, too much was lost by Spider DS. Well, well done. Oh, absolutely well done. But here comes the rest of the army. We have a ton of Banelings and a, and, a, and a bunch of Wings just cleaning up anything that's left over on Creep. Meanwhile, two Medivacs being uh, being sent across the top of the base, or the top of the map. Right. Um, I'm curious to see just how much these damage... Oh. oh, the tanks. Never mind. Forget about the drop for now. The tanks are going to go down. They do not get Siege Waste. Some Banelings unnecessarily, but that's okay as three or four tanks did go down there. Now let's check on that drop on the left side. It's getting towards the fifth base, so KDY going to know about it in just a moment. How much damage will it be able to do? Oh yeah, here it comes, but I mean, once is this going to trigger a counterattack from KDY? Here comes the Marine, stimming in, trying to do as much damage as possible, going to be able to take out that base without a doubt, but meanwhile, we do have all these leads of KDY moving in uh, to try to deny this third. Alright, we do still have these bunkers, uh, the bunker up with the Marines in it. The SUVs have not been pulled yet this time, and some, ooh, some Banelings coming in. Gonna be much, much more difficult for to defend by Slayer's DS, and he, Spider DS, sorry, and he's forced oh, to lift the command those... center. Those Banelings, Banelings burrowed right on top of those Marines. Oh, that was so oh, scary. Oh, jeez. Uh, so many SCVs have gone down in that third. The uh, Banelings and Zerglings running amok. Marine. It looks like uh, Spider responding with a drop back in, in, the, in the base of his opponent. Uh, but, I mean, all these Marines... I mean, that, that, with that um, orbital command lifted for so long, he's losing a ton of mining time. This is doing a ton of damage, though. A ton of uh, drones have gone down at this point, and all the wings, all the banelings and festers moving back. This this drop will get cleaned up, but banelings unborrowing, oh. uh, excuse me, un <laughs> unborrowing, and, and going into that SCV line, and they will kill just a few more SCVs being pulled right. to repair the leftover damage. Now that was a little bit hectic. Let's look at things here. We have 28. Uh, SCVs killed by Slayer's KDY, whereas only seven drones were killed by Spider DS. So, more successful for Slayer's KDY right there. I swear, with every scan, he is going to clean up like 30 creep tumors. Mm. Uh, Spider DS now sieged up on the edge of that creep, trying to deny as much as possible. Lings have moved in to try to deny that planetary fortress, but will be unable to do so. Now, moving in directly for that third. Once again, Lings is going to be able to take out these SCVs that are just idly standing by, and at the same time, Lings moving in once again to try to deny this entire position on the creep that Spider DS has set up. Right, and uh, Ling's still running amok, taking down a tank, maybe even in this third base. No, the tank will not go down. Although more Ling's running in, trying to clean things up. They will get that Marine, perhaps running from the tanks. That one tank does go down. Going for more SCVs. So many SCVs have died in this, in this match. Uh oh, absolutely. This is absolutely crazy. Spider DS has to keep pulling back from his tank position that he is on the edge of this creep. And with every counterattack, he is wasting more and more precious time sitting on the edge of that creep, not being able to move forward. Mm -hmm. Three three lings do burrow in the back of uh, Spider DS's base in the meantime. All right, a moment to breathe here for just a second as the ling run bys and such have stopped. But, uh, you know, I mean, those are lings burrowed, not banelings, so not too, too scary. But uh, could come back to haunt him in a little while. But uh, this planetary fortress has managed to get up and running, and we now see that there are, ooh, 49 SCVs, but 101 drones. Um, he needs to make some spine crawlers, because that's actually too many. And, yeah, he does. I mean, Spider DS at this point is in a different sort of position, given the fact that he has these two medevacs moving around. He is on top of this creep, and I think he's going to try to drop, and with every drop, move a little bit forward. But Ultralis are on the field right now. He does have um, that Ultralis armor coming up even further. Uh, Bailey's moving into the tank line, able to take out almost all of the tanks. These, these Ultras will definitely be able to clean up everything else. Right now, we do have these uh, Marines and, and Marauders just dropping into the back of, of KDY's base, but these Ultras are so scary right in the face of Spider. 
Yeah, I mean, these medevacs able to pick up some units and get away, but, you know, that's a little bit too little too late as tons of units and tanks fell.